Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right, man. So, we have a fight tomorrow. Jamel Chala will take on Brock Stanos for 154 Supremacy. Um, like I said before, whoever wins the fight should get legitimate uh, pound for pound discussion. Uh, Costanos will at least be in the top 10. Um, Jamel, I think Jamel, if he pulls this off, Jamel is in that Jamel is in that top three. Maybe even number one, arguably. You know. Because he bounced back from a tough loss. Um, got his belt back. Had a controversial uh, controversial draw. And then he goes in there and wins the fight soundly or he wins the fight. Hey. Got him. Hey. Real talk. You got to get a man that's just due. Like I said, I ain't no hater, man. I'm just keeping it 100. He deserves he deserves that pound for pound discussion. Now I'm gonna get to what um, dude said on ESPN. That was that was funny. What he said about Terrence Crawford and uh, Errol Spence. That was that was kind of that was kind of weak because you can make the same argument for the dude that he was you know boosting up. But we'll talk about that later on. But for real. If Jamel pulls this off, man, he is a legit top three pound for pound fighter. You know, I'll figure like this. You can't argue with it. I mean, after all, Lomachenko had less than, than 14 fights at the time, and they had him number one pound for pound, which I thought was hilarious. I, I thought that was a joke. Now, I know there's some people trying to slide Uslik in number one pound for pound. You just can't make a heavyweight a pound for pound fighter. You just can't. You just can't, man. Not in my book. But I know they're trying to do that. I know ESPN trying to do that. I don't know who ESPN has number one as of right now, but it damn sure ain't Canelo. You you don't lose no fight to a uh, you, you don't lose no fight to a dude that's not ranked in the uh, top ten pound for pound on anybody's list, and they say you still number one. That's what you call hope insurance, and you hope people will buy what you're selling, and they they not. Because like I said, I, I said this before, and I'm gonna continue to say it. I already told you, ain't nobody gonna turn me from saying what I got to say. You can get mad. You can talk all the shit you want, but it ain't gonna change a damn thing because I'm still gonna say what I want to say. And if you bothered by it, if you hurt by it, that's your fucking problem. Not mine. But yeah, we definitely will see. We'll, we'll definitely see later on. And we'll talk about it later on. We'll have discussions about it. But anyway, best of luck you know, to Castano's and Charlo made the best man win. It's your boy Town Biz, man. I'm out.